Over the course of the past year, Secretary Ash and other members of our cabinet and the Lieutenant Governor and I and, and members of our Economic Development Council have had thousands of conversations with people across the Commonwealth about a number of initiatives that we could pursue to continue to, to build on the very successful economy we have here in the Commonwealth of Mass. The bill supports the creation of vibrant communities by providing powerful tools and invests in our innovation economy so that Massachusetts can continue to compete for the jobs of tomorrow. And in addition, we clear up some red tape that holds back innovation in our economy and deal with a number of other issues that have been raised by our colleagues in local government. Specifically, a $500 million authorization for MassWorks infrastructure grants, $75 million for site cleanup through Brownfields redevelopment, $50 million for Gateway City development through a transformative development fund. Our economic development legislation connects residents to economic opportunities and helps close the skills gap that many employers face by expanding our workforce development efforts. It's a bill entitled Opportunities for All, which really is an extension of what we talked about, not only on the campaign, but in our first year of office, about really making Massachusetts great from one end to the other. So that's why our administration has prioritized partnerships with our cities and towns. I've done a, a lot of work in our community compact program to strengthen our cities and towns and ready them for these opportunities that Secretary Ash and others are hoping to bring across our Commonwealth. In short, what we are filing today here is truly about opportunities for all. I'm grateful for everybody who's con contributed to it, and I especially appreciate the leadership of the Governor and the Lieutenant Governor in making this bill happen. Thank you, everyone.